trace will carry over into chat except in a few special cases. For now, this change is only affecting workspace users as well as legacy G Suite Basic and business customers. In other words, it's impacting people who use Google service as part of a business or organization. So how will it look like? The chat notification will now look like two speech bubbles on top of one another with one being filled in. Compared to the SMS notification icon, which is a single bubble that is rectangular shaped and empty on the inside. The spaces notification icon will now look like a group of three people standing together and that should help you intuitively understand what notifications you are receiving without having to open the app itself. Also, Google showed off another new Gmail interface and a new Google Chat feature called Spaces. The update sounds like a revamp to Google Chat's group chat feature, which used to be called Rooms, and from now on, it will be called Spaces. This is how your Gmail look like when you go to your desktop view of your phones or the website when you access it via your laptop or PC. Google has been trying to roll out a lot of its more popular properties into singular packages that might be a bit more useful because they would fulfill a wide range of purposes instead of being devoted to one specific kind of service. So with Google Hangouts going away, Google is trying to improve the functionality of its Gmail app, which is now the central source for chat and Hangout feature that you might want to utilize. With all of these, Google is finally starting to take steps to remedy matters with all things having been considered and taken into account. So try it out now for yourself and see what are the features of the Google Chat.